All right, everyone, how do we convert between pounds per square inch and bars? So two pressure units, pounds per square inch and bars. If we wanna convert between those two, how do we do that? So let's look at this first problem here that says convert 40.0 PSI to bars. So we're gonna start with 40.0 PSI and we want to figure out, okay, how many bars is that equal to? So this is a dimensional analysis, one-step conversion problem, where we're going to multiply by a conversion factor, which is a fraction that relates PSI and bar. Since we're starting with PSI, we're going to have PSI on the bottom of our conversion factor. And since we want bar in the end, we're gonna have bar up top, our conversion factor. Now, what is the relationship between these two units? Well, 14.7 PSI is equal to 1.01325 bar. So that's what we're going to include with our respective units in our conversion factor. So on the bottom where we have PSI, we'll have 14.7. And up top where we have bar, we will have 1.01325. Okay, so our problem is set up. Let's look at our units. Since we're starting with PSI and PSI is on the bottom of our conversion factor, that unit is going to cancel because what's on top and on bottom cancels. And we will be left with just the unit of bar. All right, now we can plug this in our calculator. We're going to start with 40.0. And since we're multiplying by our fraction, our conversion factor, we're gonna be multiplying by the top and dividing by the bottom. So we will multiply by 1.01325, and we will divide by 14.7. It equals, and this is what our calculator gives us. Let's round that to three significant figures so we would get 2.76. So 2.76 bar is equal to 40 PSI. All right, second problem here. What is 0.951 bar in PSI? So going the opposite direction. We're starting with 0.951 bar, and we want to figure out how many PSI that is. Again, we're gonna multiply by conversion factor, and this conversion factor is going to be the reciprocal of the problem above's conversion factor. So we are going to have bar on the bottom and PSI on top. And we're using that same relationship where 1.01325 bar is equal to 14.7 PSI. And why it's flipped is because since we're starting with bars, we need that on the bottom of our conversion factor so that PSI is on top. Now we can plug this in our calculator and solve. We're gonna start with 0 0.951, and then again, multiply by the top, divide by the bottom. So we will multiply by 14.7, and then divide by 1.01325, hit enter. And let's round this answer to, again, three significant figures. So we should get 13.8, 13.8. Okay, there you have it, how to convert between pounds per square inch and bars. All right, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.